Hey guys! This is Naomi. So today I'm going to make some traditional Hungarian goulash. So there are different recipes out there. Some people use beef, some people use pork. There are some people who actually use both, but I prefer just beef. Uh, there are other recipes that include some um, small fresh pasta bites called chipetka. But I'm not actually going to do that because um, the goulash is already a rich food in itself because of the vegetables, the potato, the beef. So I'm just going to serve it in the end with some uh, bread. So all Hungarians agree on the fact that the best goulash is made on an open fire in a cauldron. But since I don't have that tool here, I'm just going to make it on the stove. So let's get started! I'm going to use some beef for stew. This is already uh, cut off. And then some potatoes. Uh, I also have some carrots, some uh, yellow and uh, red bell pepper, some onions, some garlic, um, a little wine, red wine, some bay leaves, and for so and for seasoning, I'll just use some sweet red pepper and some grounded caraway. So this is it. So I'm going to set my pot on the stove on medium low heat and I'm going to use two tablespoons of oil. And I'm going to add the onions and the garlic. And just stir it a little. So what you want to do is... So I'm going to cook it a little. Just it. When it's been cooking for about 3 minutes, you can already add your meat. And you cook it a little together. So what you want to do is put enough water to cover the meat. You cook it one and a half up to two hours long so the meat gets well done, well cooked. And I'm going to put it on low heat. The meat is finally done. It's been cooking for one and a half hours. And now I'm going to add the other vegetables. The potatoes. The bell peppers. The carrots. Two tablespoons of salt. Grounded caraway, sweet paprika, and some bay leaves. And the special ingredient for this recipe is red wine. So I'm going to add that in. And cook it for about 30 more minutes. All right, well, it got done simmering, and we added the vegetables and simmered it some more. Or should I say, Noemi did all the work here. I'm just here to try it. So let's try the goulash, or as they say in Hungary, goulash? Exactly. Mmm. Oh, <laughs> that is so good. The beef is so tender. I got a piece of carrot that was delicious. The water became very saucy and amazing. Please, this was super easy to make, and it's something new and foreign that we don't always have in America, so please try it. And if you like this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.